Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Arjun Khalsa, and in New Mexico we're here in the middle of cold and flu season, and now we're coming on allergy season. So my sweet husband, who's making this video for me, made us ginger lemon tea. And he's made this for us for years, but he created this new variation this year that we really like because it's fast and easy. And it really helped on those days when my, th for me, I get a throat thing right away when I get sick. And cold things don't feel good. The hot feels really good. And the great thing, you've probably heard me talk about ginger before, but both of these ingredients have really great healing properties to them. This is a lemon. So for those of you who are learning about real fruits and vegetables, whole foods, this is what a lemon looks like. It's organic. I buy organic whenever possible with all of my fruits and vegetables because I don't like the pesticides in myself and I don't like the pesticides being sprayed all over our plants and running into our water and into our ground. So I spend a little bit more on my food, but I feel like doing this helps to support my health and the health of you. Because if I'm not spraying, having chemicals sprayed on the trees near you, it's not going into your water. So that is our medicine. Lemons have one of the highest amounts of vitamin C found in nature. So when you take this little guy, it actually helps support your immune system. So we're taking this and where this is ginger. This is a ginger root. You've, you've probably seen this in the grocery store. It's this funny little brown knobby, funny looking thing. And before I knew what it was, it was one of those things I just sort of ignored and walked by. But now this is one of my best friends. So ginger has amazing health properties also. It's an antispasmodic. So if you are getting, for women, menstrual cramps, or if anyone has a muscle spasm somewhere, this is really good for that. You can actually just make a ginger tea with this, or you can make it into this lemon ginger drink that we're also making. It's a heating food. So when your body feels cold or in those cold winter months, this is really good for heating up your overall body temperature. So it helps support your immune systems. So we're going to be using this and a lemon today. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the peel off the lemon. We're not going to be squeezing it. We want that pith in there, that white stuff. So we're just going to be cutting off the ends here. I've already washed this lemon and I'm going to be taking this off here. This white stuff in here, you actually want to keep that. That's the stuff that's really high in vitamin C. And I love this. If you've seen my master cleanse, we use a whole lemon just like this also. Are we leaving the seeds in there? Yeah. Okay. My husband's actually the master chef on this, so I wanted to make sure I had it right for you. He said, we are keeping the seeds in. So we're doing this whole lemon. And this is my Vitamix here. You can use whatever blender you have. This is my blender of choice. And I'm going to be putting all these rinds into my compost pile so we can have some awesome soil in the summer. He's telling me I should use this one instead. So this is about, what, three inches of ginger root. So I'm going to show you how to peel this because that might be daunting also. So I take it where all these little nubs are. I just cut that and I take my vegetable peeler. Some people actually will take a knife and do this because it takes less of the actual root off and more of the skin. But I don't have time and patience for that. So I'm taking my peeler and sorry if I'm being wasteful, but that's how my life is. I can get more of these videos out to you all if I do that. And I'll put it post out about green smoothies at some point, but I've been putting a lot of raw ginger into my green smoothies also. I love the way it tastes. Gives a little spiciness, a little zing. And with ginger, for some people, like we've been using it for a long, long time, so we're fine with it. But if you're not used to it, you may want to use a little bit less. There's a little tough spot here. You may want to use a little bit less when you're getting going because for some people it's really spicy and it's not comfortable having this much ginger in your first drink when you're trying that and it may actually feel like it's stinging your throat so if you're just starting out maybe you just start with this amount of ginger for us we're kind of veterans so we're going to use for people who have a Vitamix you can put it in whole for people who don't have a Vitamix I'd recommend chopping it just a little bit because those blenders that don't work so well they're not going to get all those chunks for you Okay, and we have this really nifty water heater. It 
heats up in about 30 seconds. We did not boil the water. It gets too hot. You don't, I mean, this is already plastic, which I'm not super excited about, but hot water and plastic's not that great. If you have glass, that's awesome. But we didn't boil it. We just heated it up pretty well. If you're going to put it on the stove, you can do that if you don't have one of these. If you have a, like a tea kettle or a um, they have these kind of kettles on little hot plates you can do. So um, we did 30 ounces of water in here, and this will be enough for two of us to make, okay? So I'm gonna put this in here. It's cooled off just a little bit. And we're gonna put about two tablespoons of honey, and I'm gonna eyeball this. Those of you who are vegan, you could probably do agave, which I know someone's gonna get on my case for agave, saying it's the worst thing on the planet. So just, if you don't like agave, just ignore that I said that. You can use maple syrup. Just covering all my bases here because people email me all the time about how bad soy is and I'm the worst person on the planet for saying that. So I just want to cover all my bases. So this is going to be hot. And I've had this happen before where I'm blending something hot and then I open the lid and it exploded afterward. So it creates a lot of pressure when there's heat in here. That's what this little thing is for here. So I'm gonna blend it and before I take the lid off, I'm gonna take this little part off here. So I'm gonna take a minute and blend this. And in my Vitamix, that's about all I need. If there's big chunks, I'll blend it a little bit longer, 30 seconds to 45 seconds, whatever you want. I'm gonna take this off just to release any pressure because I don't like things popping and exploding in my face. So that's that. Okay, and I'm gonna grab a glass here. So I'll just take one of our jars here because this is actually what we take in the morning if we're running out the door. My husband will actually just fix this for me, pour it in a jar, throw a lid on it. Oh and a strainer, forgot about that part. He's been mostly making this, I've just been watching it. So actually I'm gonna use this small strainer here. And voila, you've got your ginger lemon tea to go. You can put a lid on if you want to. And then in the summer, we make this a variation. Also, we do a cold one. We'll put, I have fresh mint here. We love mint in our family. So we'll put fresh mint. We'll put berries like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, ice. And then we'll actually blend that up and make a really great drink also. In New Mexico, it gets really, really hot and dry. So for us, we need some kind of extra electrolytes like lemon, fruit, something like that to kind of help get the water in more. So I hope you enjoy it. Let us know how you do, and we'd love to hear your story on you making your own and what experiences you have. <coughs> so you can go to www.drargent.com and leave us your comments. Thank you so much.